Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Let's Play Noctis. So, um, it's been several hours and I've come back to um, the planet surface. It looks like it's still daytime, or it cycled through day and night while I was away. But you can see here that it's uh, it stopped raining. And I can... So actually, there's two different colors here. This here is a little bit darker. And I can move up here which is a little bit, uh, or is that just the, uh, oh, that might just simply be, uh, the way the game draws the distance. So further away, you can see the brown a lot clearly, but once the ground moves closer to me, it has this textured, um, textured look to it. And you have got the purple trees going here. I'm playing a new MIDI in the background. Not sure if I like it, I might switch it out later. Let's just see if how we can do here. Actually, I'm going to run the jetpack. Okay, so there's that there's the coast over there. Let's travel over there and see. I don't know if it's uh, within this zone or if I'll run out of the uh, There's a little island here. It's even the reflections of the island. Or an obelisk. I don't know if this is if I would consider this a ruin or not, but it's a very interesting feature. There's the sun. And there's the island in the background. Just take a picture for posterity. And the medium playing is called New Horizon, and it's from the um, Noctis soundtrack that someone uploaded. I'm not sure if it's official or someone's fan soundtrack, but it fits, I think, uh, meaty tracks for a DOS game. Heading back to the um, module now. I'm gonna go back up the space.
some reason the internal lights got turned off. Oh, let's see here. So this is just natural lighting. You can see the red. And there's a planet there. There's a star. There we go, turned on the internal lights, we're back to... We can turn it off. Well, let's turn it off because I think it gives it more... Uh, ...flavor. Uh, right, so we want to name this planet so I can come back to it later. Under galactic label planet, uh, we'll call this Planet New Horizon. Assigned. Okay, so this is body 31. Um, I want to name the star as well, so I'll know to come back to it later. which is back here, so we're gonna go... star to be able to name it. I guess that's how I remember. Try using this console here to find a place I was at earlier. Oh, I gotta f remember how to use this, so I'm gonna tab out real quick. Look at the user user manual. This is called Go's console. Uh, it's short for. Not really sure. G O E S dot net console, according to the manual. Okay, I think D L is the one that will give me the par parses, which is the coordinates that I need to prompt into my star driver to drive to it. So I had to name a red. I had named a red star called Ifrit. Was going to explore it before coming here. Uh, let's see here. Can I? How do I use this? Okay, there we go. DL effort. Dependencies listing. Subject star name effort. No known planets. So oh, this one doesn't have any planets.
Oh, I think DL is just looking up uh, the entry. So I'm going to do par different. That's a lot of coordinates to enter, but see if I can do it with my star driver. Flight controls, flight controls. Uh, no, I think it's onboard devices. coordinates I think is the one I want. Okay. I guess I have to write this down somehow. I guess I have to enter them one at a time. Four, three, four, six, two, one, five. And then minus one, three, two. One, three, two. Six, seven, nine, two. Hopefully this doesn't blow up my console. Okay, so this target is fixed. Let's, uh, Space. The nice thing is I can't uh, fall off this uh, cat box. Okay, where is the star again? I lost track of it. There it is. Minus two sixty-eight degrees Celsius. I don't think even with a spacesuit I could survive. Up here. drive. Checking my consoles, make sure. Maybe, did I enter the wrong target? Because it says I'm 0.1 light years away and I'm in the middle of nowhere. Probably try and do something here. It's nice and dark, but I think getting in the way of 
doing stuff here. So let's go on miscellaneous, turn on internal lights. Okay. And then we want onboard devices again. Galactic. We want to set target. We want to enter coordinates. And then we want to enter this effort coordinates again, see if we can get to that star that we explored earlier. Okay. Four, five, three, five, three, four, four. Enter. Four, three, four. Six, two, one, five. Enter. Minus one, three, two. Oops. One, three, two. 6792. Target is fixed. And let's accept, go to flight controls again. It says it's 1.18 light years away. Okay, I'm gonna start our family engine. And for some reason, it's still not bringing us there. That's weird. You can see here there's a lot of named stars because this place isn't actually as unexplored as it used to be. There's quite a bit. This is where near where I started. Uh, also something. Targets in range. So these are all the name stars, I think that's, that's in range. It's possible I'm entering the coordinates incorrectly. Which is causing this problem. Yeah, Phenia is near here. That's the, the starting planet. I don't see Ifrit on this list anywhere. So, um, let's try this again. Par, Tabnasia. Does? Okay, so it works. I know it works. Try again. Par effort.
let me start my engine to get there for some reason. Looks like we're entering it correctly. Well, we'll have to leave this star for now because I can't seem to get to it. years ago. An object not found. Okay, so maybe that inbox didn't get calculated. Let's see here again. Par. Object not found. Okay, that's the home planet when I already game started, so... We know it's there. Uh, let's try going back to Tabnasia and see if we can... ...get this Parsis driver to work. One of the few times you can actually see the uh, star field move a lot. Yeah, I can see here again. We were stopping just short of where where that target is, and I don't know why. I'll have to figure this out. Probably. Yeah, we're like 1.21 light years out, and it won't let me get any closer. So I might have to set a remote target myself. Target that star, which is super weird. Yeah, there it is, Tapnasia. Point one light years away. Now it's gonna let me go into it. That's really weird.
There it is. That's the star we were used to. Pop up here. Not helpful that I took pictures with no uh, information on it. Yeah, I'm back <laughs> into the game. Uh, let's see here. Clear local target, set local target 16 4. Tell me which planet of which moon it is. Uh, well, this is why I need to make notes in here. And this is kind of um, how the old games are like. Yeah, this is made, this was made like, as I mentioned, this was released in the early 2000s. Although even by then, people were running in Windows, and this was still made as a DOS game. The a lot of things are manual. You do, there's really no tool tips and stuff, so I'm gonna clear local target again. Set local target. It's gonna run through here. Now it's one of these. Okay, I just realized I can set my target to the object name without actually entering the coordinates, so I might be able to do that. Let's 
that local target again. 18-4. Start fine approach. I've also re learned how to make notes in the uh, computer system, so I'm going to make some notes for Death Star, Tavnasia. Okay, so I go in here. I can enter more notes by simply hitting enter and then creating more entries. I'm going to enter here, mostly in hospitable, and I'm going to enter my next note, uh, 18th moon of the fourth proto planet is. Here that there's an old and a new star map. I wonder if my all my old planets are under the old star map. So let's try here. Cat old marsh. No information. Okay, let's try. I'm gonna set target to Ifrit. See if I can get to that star that we've been trying to get. Target is fixed. So good, so now that we know how to travel without entering the, the um, Oh, we're already traveling. Okay, that's nice. I don't even have to set my um, 
Star Driver there. Oh, there's a bit of lag. Okay, we're almost there. We're there. And it's red. Yeah, this is the star I remember. So this was the red giant star that uh, I first saw when I first joined. Or not joined, but first started playing this game. I don't think there's any planets in the system. Giant star, high nuclear mass. Let's try to set local. Oh, there is there are planets here. Okay. Let's uh, travel to it. Native quartz, oxygen atmosphere. Class four star stars. Okay. Are there any moons? I wonder. off the internal lights again. I like to see the uh, natural lighting as the star is um, moving around. I'm also going to change how I track the planet uh, this time. minor bodies in this system, so there's quite a lot to uh, explore. Wow, there's 80 bodies as well, so 80 mo 20 planets and 80 moons. Jeez, this, I, I could spend a whole month charting this, this system. I want to take some nice pictures of it too. Okay, this is mainly a coarse blend, and I like the lighting too. It's kind of red and orangey. Uh, I want to travel down there. That's an enhanced star field that I just turned off. So I see fewer stars, but fewer targets also. So let's go back on board device of oh, oh, flight controls. Okay. Let's set local target. Is there a moon to this planet? One, one. Oh, next thing. So this is just a single planet near the star. Uh, let's travel to second planet of this system. Start find approach. Just pop up and have a look. Look at that. The star is actually glowing. Oh, a ringed system.
very mysterious. Okay, this one definitely has moons. And I like this look here. You can see that the rings actually extend through to the uh, horizon, and you can see that it's framed by the, um, or the backdrop is the sun itself. Uh, okay, let's see. Plan is this thin atmosphere, solid, small, second planet. Let's uh, have a look. Deploy surface capsule. And we will land on the twilight side. Oh, this is the light side, so we'll land like right here. look at the uh, DOS box settings again, I think this game is running slower than I intended, or than it was intended to run, but I did follow the manual in terms of, um, someone wrote a guide of how to configure DOS box to run this game. Uh, well nice, the sun is on the horizon, uh, but I, I could probably optimize it some more if I can find any settings that I wasn't, uh, I didn't configure properly. So, because this landing sequence takes a long time, and I'm noticing a lot of slowdown as well. basically a um, desolate planet with, you can see here, this is the sky, no clouds, thin atmosphere, and nothing but the sun. If you travel high enough, you can actually see the sun. Oh, I do see a feature there. Let's see if we can go there. little hill. Too bad that a temperature 15 degrees in the twilight side, or near the uh, near twilight. Just gonna make sure I can still see my module there. It's within sight, I think. Yeah, not having, not being able to call that uh, lander to me uh, is making me a little bit uh, paranoid. I could get lost and it'll be a long time for me to find my way back. Okay, I'm near the feature here. It looks like a mound. Very weird because there's nothing else around here except for this thing.
like a mountain. Let's climb it. a star called Ifrit that I just named. Although the star doesn't look very red from here. And the temperature is dropping. It's now 13 degrees. It's probably because I'm too high. Although I would think this, this part would get the most radiation from the sun because it's still getting sunlight. Down there I don't see the sunlight. I just see the refracted light from the thin atmosphere. Okay, let's go. Let me get back to my uh, module now. And it looks like it's warmer down here than it is up there. Yeah, back to 15 degrees. So I think I want to explore one more place before I call this video, but uh, I'm glad I learned a few things, or we learned rather. Uh, the commands in this game aren't very intuitive. I have the, uh, the manual open ne next to me on my other screen, just reading and stuff. I mean, it would be great if I remember any of the old planets I, I named. I think I thought I had named like Marsh and Figaro and stuff like that, but I can't be sure if I did. Or I may have named them and sent them in, but the uh, inbox never was collated into this release version, so who knows. This one doesn't have any moves either. So let's move to the third planet. Start our fine approach. Up, up, up. Look. So I thought this one had moons for sure because of the rings, but I guess not. This system has 20 planets and it looks like there is a moon there. I can see that there's a white dot. Uh, this is a Venus type planet, most likely. And it looks like Venus too. Uh, orange shot. Oh, that's a star. Thick atmosphere, fully covered by clouds. 
Lunar Surface Capsule. Yeah, none of the features that removed Target, so there should be a moon here of the third planet. Yep. Dusty and crater eyes. Nothing interesting to see. Clear local. Semi local. Okay, this one only has one moon. There's a star, and there's a planet, and you can see that there's a little red glow on the poles. That's really, really nice detail work there. Actually, let's land on this planet. I... There's a lot of exploring to do in this different star system, so I'm going to clear our target. We're going to set our local target back. Okay, we're here. Deploy the surface capsule. And I, I was sure there was a way to clear off the clouds to see the landforms, but the commands that I'm being given aren't working. C is not working. X is not working. So I just have to chance it. Let's try. Land on the day side, or else it's going to be too dark. Yeah, the pressure is going up real quick here. This doesn't do anything, just change the borders. It's 1.2 G's for Earth gravity. Sector 32147. Just jumping around, checking in with my jetpacks. Pressure is 34 degrees, temperature is 28 degrees, not too bad. Not, sorry, pressure is not 34 degrees, it's 34 times atmosphere. I like these little triangles. Oh, there's the sun that I can see actually. That's a nice view. I've been to binary star systems as well, so I like to, uh, in this Let's Play series, I want to explore some of those different star systems and, and just have fun generally. Um, the one thing I regret, um, when I played this in the past was I found all sorts of nice things. I made notes in that console that you saw, but because, you know, it's asynchronous, uh, whatever I sent in, either I forgot to send in or they were sent in, but 
maybe never collated, so I, I've lost a lot of notes and I don't remember any any of the planet names anymore, so it's very hard for me to revisit um, those places, but with now with this, with video, I can actually, I know, just file it and, and watch it at a later time and I can revisit these places in the future. Just took a picture for posterity. to see here. I think I'm going to return to my ship and end the video here. Um, actually, instead of boring you of watching me return to my ship, I'm just going to end my video here. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.